hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to discuss one very interesting tableau interview scenario and also a real time and a challenge that we might face in you know implementing during project so the issue is a user want to default uh, the date to current month always while having the option to choose from previous dates okay so now we'll try to solve this problem let us get started without wasting much time and if you are new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe see here so when i have a current date option it will by default you know uh, round it off to current month if at all you have a requirement where you want to further drill down to current date that also we can do you know with the calculation but i am limiting that to current month now see the data here it is defaulting to current year and if i see in the month it is only this but i'm selecting current month or custom date here i'm getting all the dates and months which are less than today so you see only till july i'm getting all the data and i can filter whatever i want like say whatever the month i am selecting that i am getting so i am able to choose from my previous data so let us implement this <clears throat> so to do this first step what i am doing is i am creating a parameter here and calling this as uh, choose date and whenever i create this uh, i am selecting integer type and because i want always my report always to default to current month whenever you are publishing this you need to publish it with option 1 selected okay so remember this one you know important point and i'm calling one as my current date and i'm calling two as my custom date now we need to write calculations for both of this so that we can get the data now i'm going to check if i have data relevant to today so because you know we are implementing with the sample superstore my you know data set might be little different from yours so i have data from 2019 to 2022 so i do not have any data for current year or current month so to you know get the data what i've done is i've simply created one calculation called as current year okay in that what i've done is i simply added two years so this is just random so in your real time you can use your original data or a date field that you have the latest data so if i bring in this now i have data from uh, 2021 till 2024 so if you see we have future dates also so sometimes there might be a possibility where you have future dates as well so that time it is the duty of a developer to you know not show that data show only what is relevant okay to you so we might need to adjust our calculation to fit this so first what i'm doing is i'm writing a simple calculation called as current date so because you know we have current date and custom date i'm going to write a simple calculation called as current date in that what i'm doing is i'm trying to match this like say my year of current year is equal to year of today now today is always our base year so comparing today i am trying to define in which year i am in which month i am that is why i am considering today here so what i have done year of today is equal to year of current year means from this what we will get we will get 2023 year will get likewise month of current year is equal to month of today so current month we are in is july so from here wherever it is july it will try to match now because we have and condition only july 23 data will come that is how this logic is working here okay now can you tell me what would be the data type of this field if i am writing something like this what do you think would be the data type of this field now you can comment in the comment section by pausing the video here now likewise we also need for custom date right so i am writing for custom date 
so i need uh, so when i'm even user is selecting custom date from the option here so if i go to this so when user selects a custom date from this he needs all the dates that are less than today now same simple calculation i've written current year is less than today which means all the dates that are less than today so, so for all of those dates it will print it true and rest it will print false okay now we need to define a flag for this so that we can use so i'm calling it as date flag okay so our date filter flag now we need to specify the condition so what i'm doing if from my choose date option is equal to one so when it is equal to one means what it is current date so when it is current date what i want and from my current date is equal to true right so in this whatever the condition is becoming true then i want to take that date okay and else if my choose date is equal to two so when i'm selecting two which means what my current my custom date here two is custom date right so when custom date and custom date is equal to true then i need my Oh, sorry so here what i'm doing is i'm not calling current year or i'm simply call flag okay so then one else zero and i'm ending it which means only when my condition is matching so this condition one and this condition is matching then i'm calling it as one or if this condition and this condition is matching then i'm calling it as one else zero now tell me what are the possible outcomes from this okay so you can again comment down in the comment section let us see your understanding on the condition here click on apply okay now to make it clear we only need to select one from this calculated field that is when we will get based on what we are choosing from the current date okay so i'm just clicking on okay so i'll also add uh okay so year of order date we have added i'm just duplicating that and i'm just making it month now if i add sales this is how we are getting maybe i'll just uh, transfer it like this yeah now we have not added anything in the filter so i'll just add that also to the filter shelf both year and month i'll add done okay so i'll just keep it like this only so that you observe difference but i'm just adding only relevant values for this and this and i'm going to add date flag that we have just created okay so here is this date filter flag that we have created based on the two conditions that we have written okay so i'm going to convert that into dimension because i don't want to aggregate and i'm dropping it on filter shell so now you see two possible values we are getting one and zero but we only need one from this so this will always be one whenever you are publishing and your parameter selection will always be current date in your dashboard so that you get always data for current year and current month see here it is current year and current month so now you need not worry when it is moving on to next month automatically it will match the condition and it will give you august month or september month or whatever like that but i'm selecting custom date see automatically the view is getting updated here now you can cleanly you know adjust your visual visualization to you know get this data and use it in the view okay so very interesting and very important uh, scenario you know might be very useful okay i hope uh, 
you like this video if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day